access granted. Electrified Reviews family, I'm Logan and I'm back again. It's a beautiful overcast day in California and today we are reviewing the big, beautiful Bentelli Tremor. Let's dive in. The Bentelli Tremor is an absolute powerhouse of an electric mountain bike. We're talking hydraulic front fork, a 750 watt motor and a 48 volt 30 amp controller. That's not a typo. This thing can pull some serious power and uses it to dominate the hills to reach top speeds towards 30 miles an hour. As I said, the Tremor is a powerhouse. Now, the Tremor has a starting price of $1,999 USD, which puts it firmly in the affordable range as far as e-bikes go. Bintelli also provides a two-year limited warranty. We've seen some companies still offering one-year warranty, so it's nice to see Bintelli giving their customers an extra year of protection here. And what exactly is that warranty protecting? Well... Let's find out as we dive into the specs. To kick things off here, let's take a look at this motor. The Tremor is outfitted with a Buffang 750 watt brushless rear hub motor. It performs exactly how we would expect a 750 watt motor to handle while being able to pull 30 amps. If you thought 20 amps was a powerful ride, well then you're in for a treat on this bad boy. We also have a few gears to select from as we're riding around. The Tremor comes with a Shimano Tourney derailleur and though these are Shimano entry level parts, it's always good to see components from a well-known name brand. It's nice because if you ever need to replace some of these parts in the future, they're readily available and easy to find. You also have a sense of quality control since it comes from a large company with a good reputation. Pulling back the throttle gives the rider an instant boost of power. I think the power curve here is a bit more on the aggressive side, which I like. It's a rush to pull your thumb back a bit and experience the 30 amp 750 watt combo. And with top speeds of 30 miles per hour, you could even keep up with traffic in a lot of areas. Now, how long could you keep up with traffic? Well, not forever, that's for sure. The Tremor ships with a 48 volt 15 amp hour battery or about 720 watt hours. At that capacity, you're looking to get anywhere between 30 to 40 miles per charge, but Bintelli doesn't claim anything different. They're very upfront with their range estimates, and as a reviewer, it's nice to see companies with more transparency about the features of their bikes. Now, although 15 amp hours is a bit on the smaller side, the fact that we're able to pull 30 amps with the controller accentuates that fact a bit more. We would love to see a larger battery from Bentelli in the future and think that if we had something around 20 amps here, we'd be looking at an all day, every day ride. The battery is lockable and removable and its position in the down tube means that we maintain that lower center of gravity, which makes the bike that much safer and allows for better handling experience. While the midsip frame on the Tremor makes mounting the saddle easy breezy, the real benefit here comes when navigating tricky terrain. If you need to dismount in a hurry, the midstep design allows you to do so fairly easily. The Mozo hydraulic suspension makes a lot of sense on this bike at this price range. We estimate we're getting about 80 millimeters of travel and while that absorbs roots and cracks, this isn't a setup designed to hit massive jumps. That being said, it's a very comfortable ride. 
With the pairing of the Mozo and these massive 26 inch by 4 inch Kenda tires, the Tremor really glides across most riding surfaces. While the Tremor doesn't ship with a rear rack, it does have mounting points to attach one should you want to carry around some extra cargo. The Tremor can carry 300 pounds altogether. So if you want to add a rear rack, you're looking at some serious cargo capacity. Though we don't get a rack out of the box, we do get front and rear fenders, which are always nice to see. To bring the Tremor to a stop, we've got Tektro mechanical disc brakes with 160 millimeter rotors on the front and rear wheels. Now with a bike this heavy going this fast, we'd like to see hydraulic brakes in the future. But honestly, after riding it around for a while, I never felt as though I couldn't stop and the brakes held up really well. They come with motor cutoff functionality and with a top speed of 30 miles per hour and a 30 amp controller, that's something we at Electrified Reviews greatly appreciate. The last thing you want to do is fight against that monstrous motor during an emergency braking situation. The cockpit has a fairly minimalistic feel to it, though the functionality is far from minimal. These new color LCD displays we're seeing on e-bikes these days are pretty rad. And I'm really digging the horizontal layout as opposed to most of the vertical or square designs we've been seeing over the last couple of years. We also get tons of information here such as wattage being pulled and trip distance and tons of other stuff. They're also bright enough to read in harsh sunlight, which is always a plus for a screen. On the left side of the handlebars, we've got the independent button pad, and on the right side, we've got the Shimano SIS index thumb shifter and thumb throttle. I'm impressed with the wire management on the Tremor, and I love that everything is routed internally. Again, this makes the whole bike look well-refined and purpose-built. Overall, the Bentelli Tremor is one of those e-bikes that functions well, performs great, and looks even better. Yes, there are a few things we'd like to see upgraded here, but at the current price, we're getting a pretty awesome e-bike from a pretty rad company like Bentelli. But what do you think? Let us know in the comments what you'd like to see added to the Tremor. And with that, let's take the Bentelli Tremor out for a ride. Well, Electrified families, that's it for the Bentelli Tremor. Let us know what you thought in the comments. Like and subscribe so we can bring you more Electrified Reviews.